morning, friends. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, also the name of my Facebook page and my website. And today I'm going to show you how to make something that I've made before, and I can tell you that the birds do love this and use it. And here's what we'll be making. This is a container that has cocoa in it, but it also is what a lot of coffee containers and sugar containers look like. And I upcycled it into this little birdhouse. And I'll show you how we can weatherproof this and decoupage it. Now, anytime you're working with plastic, you have to use a spray paint that is made specifically for plastic. Chalk paint does not work on this and the plastic absolutely has to have teeth or something that the decoupage papers and glue can adhere to. So you just want to spray this whole thing, one or two light coats is fine, and put it aside to dry. It dries pretty quickly and then we can begin the rest of the work. Now you don't want to wrap the napkin completely around this. You just want to make sure that it fits and we're going to tear away pieces that we can decoupage separately. And what I'm doing is taking a little bit of water and I'm dipping a tiny paintbrush into it. And I'm just going to go around these areas where I want to pull away these panels of paper napkin. And you don't want to separate this yet. You want it all three ply until we're ready to do the work. And then I'm just going to tear out those sections that I just put water on. You don't want any straight or hard edges, so I'm just removing these. You'll want to tear enough to go around the whole jar. Now I put my napkins aside and I took out this small drill that I have and I drilled a few air holes around this. And I also drew a circle, this was a little bit crude, and I used my drill to make that circle. You may want to check with your local hardware store to see if they can do this for you if you do not have a drill. The other thing you might be able to do is take your heat, your hot glue gun and make several holes with that and then poke that larger hole out. Now I'm skipping ahead here. I'll go back to the decoupage in a moment. I just wanted to show you how I took my hot glue gun, set it on high, there's no glue in here, and I pressed it down and this made very good air holes right through there. And you should be able to do that all around this centerpiece. One other suggestion, different birds will only go into different size homes or different hole sizes. So you may just want to Google birds in your area and see what type of a nest they prefer. Some like the birdhouses up higher, some like them lower, some like larger openings, some smaller openings. So back to the decoupaging, you just, now you want to separate these napkins apply some decoupage glue and because we've got this plastic base coat plastic spray base coat on here this will all be able to stick and i'm going to overlap a little bit on the bottom and overlap a little on the top here also take our saran wrap and press it down and i'm finding on these rounder surfaces it helps to bunch the saran wrap up and press down over the napkin. And I'm going to follow these steps all the way around my plastic container and then put it aside to dry. If you've noticed that you've missed any spots, you can just do some patchwork and either cut out a similar piece of your napkin or use the paintbrush method and just decoupage some pieces on there. And for this top section, I'm just going to slow this down a little bit. We're going to be putting the lid on here, so I'm not too concerned with the, this paper up top. We're also going to be putting some string around there to hang it, so just take your wet paintbrush and go around those edges and pull away anything that you don't need up there. Thank you. 
I also overlapped everything on the bottom. And if you have any pieces like this where you've got some excess paper, again, you can just take your wet paint brush and pull those away. And we did cover the opening with the napkin. So what I'm going to do is take the wet paint brush and just go around this napkin and poke it through there so that there's an opening now. And now that everything is dry, we're going to go over the whole surface with our decoupage glue. And we'll go around the whole thing, cover it one time. And I'm pushing these papers around the center there. Some of them are coming off with the brush, but I'm just going to tuck them underneath so that they stick inside. And we'll put this aside to dry. a different napkin on the surface but you still want to cover the surface as long as the colors match the other napkin or complement them you can do this too I just wanted to give this a little bit more of a decorative element so I took this waterproof ink pad it's got to be waterproof and a makeup sponge and I just pounced the whole surface of this. And I'm using a blow dryer just to speed up the drying process of that ink. You don't want to use your heat gun, that would be too hot. And here's the product that's going to make our project waterproof and weatherproof. You see it's UV salt and mildew resistant. Since it goes on the outside and it will cure and dry completely, you don't have to worry about it harming the birds. It, you'll want to pour a small amount into a paper cup and stir it up with a disposable fork. Now I'm using a sponge brush to apply this and this does need to dry if not outside then in a room where no one else is, it does need proper ventilation. It's oil-based, it does have a strong scent, and it takes eight to 12 hours to dry, but it's certainly worth it. Now this is after this has dried overnight. I took a little hot glue and some twine or jute or string. You just wanna make sure it's heavy enough to hold a little birdie family. And I wrapped it all around this top part here. I then took it outside and hung it up in one of the trees where it is staying right now. I'll let you guys know if a little family moves in there anytime soon. And this is how our completed project looks today. Outside, hanging up, ready for a little bird family to move in. So thank you so much, friends, for keeping in touch with me, for all of your lovely comments. Thank you for subscribing. It is a huge help to me. There is some uh, sad news in our family, so I will not be able to get back to you quite as often this week. If you need questions uh, answered, please go on over to the Facebook page called Mason Jar Madness and Decoupage, and they can help you out over there. But thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it all of your comments and your time. I will see you next week with another video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.